O oh, precious God and Father, in the exalted name of your blessed Son, Christ Jesus, we want to thank you one more time that your Son and your people can sit together to listen to your word. Lord, as you have written your word, it's infallible, it's unstoppable, it's unsearchable. And even now, Lord, we want to hear what your word continues to say as we look to you through your exalted names, Son, Christ Jesus, we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' exalted name. Amen and amen. One more time, I want to greet all the saints of the members of the body of Christ and all our e-members and friends that join us at Gospel Way. We want to say thank God for you. Thank God for all our e-members. Thank God for all the brethren. Friends, I greet you with grace from God the Father. One more time we are in Bible study and we want to continue and this subject, when God speak. When God speak, changes come, deliverance come, new door open, word and deliverance come forth, when God speak. And so we want to do a recap in the book of Acts chapter 10. And so we're going to go into the book of Acts chapter 10 and see if we could get some gems from the book of Acts chapter 10. Are we ready to get into the word? The word is life. The word is power. The word is quick. The word is sharp. The word dwell it in us. And even now, we can use the word to discharge every principalities and powers and sovereignties and authority. Oh, I love the word of God. I know I have some weakness out there. I love the word of God. And because the word of God is so sharp, I cannot handle it by myself. It's only take the Holy Spirit to do such. And so we want to just do a little recap in reference to Acts chapter 10, and when we look at verse 44, Acts chapter 10, verse 44, are you there? And it read like this, I'm going to read the NIV and I will read the, um, the King James Version. So I read the NIV first. While Peter was still speaking, Listen carefully. While Peter was still speaking, these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. The Holy Spirit take over from Peter and manifest. Listen what the King James Version says. While Peter yet speak these words, the Holy Spirit fell. And all them which, <laughs> which heard the word, which heard the word. And so we find here that the Holy Spirit came on the Gentiles. The Gentiles begin to manifest what the word has says to them. They begin to speak in a language and praise God. The Gentiles believe were baptized. And the doors of salvation was open unto the nation or the Gentiles. What a God we serve. The Holy Spirit manifests and take over. Note what happened. This is a glorious testimony. A testimony that challenges us. Challenge even those that came with Peter. Every unbeliever, they were hungry, they were thirst, and such the word of God could fill their hungry soul, fill their hungry, and give them to drink. The word of God came, and salvation came with the word of God, and such manifested here when the word came. Here goes what Peter demonstrated here. Peter was a vice box for God. 
And verse 45 says, And they of the circumcision which believe were astonished. All those that came with Peter, we understand that six other came, six came with Peter. And so they were astonished. They could not believe what took place. They find that God demonstrates his supernatural power. And God don't have to ask, even if you were born, in born as a circumcised person. Did I say born? Yes. It does not change when God gets ready to save the nation or the Gentiles. The Bible says, and they of the circumcision believe, uh, they were a believer, they are a believer, uh -huh, and were astonished. They were frightened. Oh, yes, because that and the Gentiles who were so far off now become nigh because of the Spirit of God begin to manifest in them. God now pour out his anointing. Fill the nation or the Gentiles with his word. You cannot control God's power, my friend. You cannot control God's anointing. You cannot control God's deliverance. You cannot control God's breakthrough. Because when God ready to break out his word into their heart, nobody can stop it. And they of the circumcision which we believe were, believe, were astonished. And many as came with Peter, because that and the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, they receive. Oh, what they, the Jews, then have. Now, it's a conflict right there. How could this be? But it's not what man says, it's what God says. No, no man had anything to do. Listen carefully, my friend. No man, no woman has anything to do with God pouring out his Holy Spirit upon these, the nation or the Gentiles. The gift of the Holy Spirit was an act of God and God alone. The gift of the Holy Spirit was God act. It was God's purpose. It was God's plan. It was God's will. It was God's counsel. It was God's intention. And not only that, but its own consummation. God do according to his own will, his own plan, his own counsel. You can't ask God why you save men, Gentiles. No, sir. You are just a man. And so God work according to his own way, his own will. The Holy Spirit poured out Note that God gave them the anointing after they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. According to the scripture here from the book of Acts 11 and verse 17. The book of Acts 11 and verse 17. Listen what it says when we reach over there we could touch it more. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us. Hear that? The, 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 the Jews uh -huh, who get already, the nation or the Gentiles getting now, oh, did as unto us who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What was I that I could withstand that? Now, Peter is testifying over here. Uh, soon we will reach there. According to Romans 10, verse 17 again, faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Oh, faith kicked in when they hear the word of God. Because of the faith kicked in, deliverance kicked in, breakthrough kicked in, healing kicked in. Oh, new language kicked in. That's how God operates when God speak, rather. Change take place. And according to the scripture here, according to Acts 2, 3, this was when the Jews received them. Uh -huh. They saw what seems to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them in the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 3. But here comes the Gentiles now receive their horn right in the eyes of Peter and his entourage. What a God we serve. 
he have no respect for mankind in reference to dispensing his Holy Spirit. Peter was just the vice box. Speaking here, according to the scripture, while Peter yet, Peter was still speaking when the power of the Holy Spirit begin to manifest, begin to demonstrate, begin to show up. The Holy Spirit take over from Peter. And the Bible says, For they heard them speak with tongues. The language of the Holy Spirit begin to move. Oh, in a mark way. Can any man stop this? No, sir, you cannot stop God. The baptism of the Holy Spirit arrive. The power of the Holy Spirit is in operation. Whew, hallelujah. Hear what the scripture says. For they heard them speak. They heard them speak with tongues and magnify. They begin to beat up God air. Exalt the most high God. Shout some glory. They shabbat God. They give God some toda praise. Some telita praise. They know exactly what was coming out of their heart and appreciating the goodness of God and the mercy of God and the love of God and the peace of God and the kindness of God that we who were far off, we who were blinded, now become sight and seeing what God has done. They heard them magnify God. Note here, then answered Peter, answer Peter, Peter answered, can any man forbid water? It's time to get your new birth. Time to get your baptism. Time to show all that surround you that you are now a new creation in Christ Jesus. Oh, here is water that these should not be baptized. Who can stop this? No, sir, no one. Which they have received the Holy Spirit as well as we. Listen that. As well as we. What we receive already, we were so proud in what we receive that Peter could say, No, Lord. I have nothing to do with unclean. I will not eat nothing unclean. No, I'm not talking about eating. I'm talking about oh, dispense my word. And hear what they said. Then answered Peter, can any man forbid what? No, then these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Spirit. You receive salvation through the word of God. Again, faith coming, faith coming. The Holy Spirit was well as we, as well as we. They have it. And now that the nation and the Gentiles got it, brother. Thanks be to God. God is no respecter of person. I don't care your color, creed, formality, or which tribe you came from. According to verse 8 in Acts chapter, verse 48 in Acts chapter uh, 10, it read like this. And he command them to be baptized. Give the green light. Bishop Peter, give the okay. Hallelujah. There is no segregation here. Only separation now. Are you ready to believe? And listen, listen to this. Peter didn't need to call no uh, altar call. Peter did not lay no hands on no man. According to the scripture, while he yet speak. Did you hear that from verse 44 in Acts 10? It's not like Peter going and touching and putting on. No, no, no. The Bible said, while he were yet speaking, the Holy Spirit taught to walk over and lay hands upon them. The Holy Spirit, I said, lay the power upon them. And he command them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry with day certain days. God, the mighty is great and awesome in his work. 
awesome in his manifestation when God speak no man can change it nobody can change it I don't know your title you cannot change it I don't know I don't need to know your office either you cannot change it when God speak it's yea and amen it's come to fruitation when God speak it come to its conclusion when God speak it shall be done when God speak it's a must when God speak nothing can hinder when God speak while Peter yet speak while Peter was speaking uh-huh there by the voice of God these words the Holy Spirit Peter is not the Holy Spirit Oh, Peter is just a vice back speaking. Then came the Holy Spirit. Take over from Peter. Hallelujah. Mm, enlighten up the place. Language and tongues and fire came out of these people's mouth. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit when God speak. Oh my God. Shift in the uh, atmosphere. Uh, mark what take place when God speak. Uh, traditional creeds and formality got to back up. Oh yes, uh, when God speak, uh, uh huh. Whether you is Jew or Gentiles, it does not matter your title name. When God speak, movements take place. The Bible says the Holy Spirit moving fell uh -huh. as we read the king james and the and the niv when god speak the niv says here the holy spirit came and all came and all the holy spirit not even asked them their name because the holy spirit already know who they are and so the bible is very clear the holy spirit came and all who heard all who heard the message, all who heard the good news, all who heard the conciliation message that God is the absolute God. And that's why Paul reiterated in Romans 10 verse 17, uh, have faith, faith, faith. Oh yes, faith deal with the impossibility. Faith is truly mean believe. Come it by hearing. Faith take over now because hearing faith begin to manifest. Uh -huh. By hearing and the word of God. When you hear the word of God, brother, faith take over and deliver you from the jurisdiction of the power of Judaism. Whatever is in your hell by faith take over. Set you free. From your condemnation, law and ordinances could not help you. Oh, the hostility uh -huh, of law could not stop the faith and the word and the Holy Spirit of God to reach to the nation, to the Gentiles. What a great God we serve. And the Bible says, the Bible says, Trouble now is awaiting Peter when he go back. To Jerusalem. Trouble is awaiting Peter when he reached back to Judah. And hear what the word of God continue to say. If you're just joining us, please. We just do a recap from Acts chapter 10, verse 44. And so if you're just joining us, we are on the same subject when God speaks. I don't know if God is speaking to you right now in accordance with his word. But listen to his voice. Hear the almighty God is calling out your name. Hear his voice. He's saying, come, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hear his voice. He's saying, come, drink of the water of life. Come unto me. All ye that are labor and heavily burdened, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy. Ah, my God, God is calling you, my brother, calling you, my sister, calling you, my friend. God is saying, come to the tree of life 
which I have hoping for you. And the Bible says, we touch over now in the book of Acts chapter 10. The book of Acts chapter 10. The book of Acts chapter 11, as we close out Acts 10. The book of Acts chapter 11, when God speaks. Here goes, we have problem now. Because some people doesn't want you to receive what God asks for you. And it is not for them only, but for those who hear his voice and believe his word. The gospel is for all mankind. All mankind. But in order. In order. All right. We take up that next time. According to chapter 11, and the apostles and brethren, the apostles and brethren, more officers were there, that were in Judah, they heard the news, they heard the good news, that the Gentiles had also, hear the word, had also, Receive the word of God. <laughs> Hear what verse 2 says. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem. Came to the headquarters. They, they that were of the circumcision contend. With him. My theory now. What have you done Peter? You need to explain to us. How could you do such a thing? I pass to say. Who you Mr. Apostle are. Mr. Brethren. Whatever your name is. Who are you to contend when God speak? Who are you to question the authenticity of what God has done through Peter? Who are you to question the validity? No, sir. I beg to differ. But thank God for these men and women or whoever they are. As they contend. Because it does show you the weakness of man. Salvation is not of man. It is of God. So when God call you, sir, or call you, madam, it's not about you. It's about God who call you, that you go dispense to others, that their eyes or their heart will be enlightened to the multifacious wisdom of God and the unsearchable wisdom of God. That's your duty. It's none of your business to question the authenticity of what God has done to the Gentiles. That's me saying it. It's true. Who are you? Listen what they said. And when they when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they were that they were of the circumcision contend with him. Saying, listen what they says now, brethren. Listen what they're saying, my sister. Listen what they're saying, my friend, all ye members. Listen what they're saying. Thou wentest into men and circumcised. You went unto people that is not of our pedigree. You went unto people who is not of us. Uh, who are you? At that time they can say it, but still, who are you? That you're questioning now. You went into men and and uncircumcised. They are not Jew. What are you doing, Peter? You shared out the gospel to Here goes the scripture. These Judaism brethren with their traditional Judaism, they were zealous of the fact that believer of the Gentiles nation received God's gift. 
The gift of God is not about you, sir, madam. Just like some people save, they want you to keep whatever they are keeping. Example, the law. Example, whatever they think. And because you did not baptize, how they baptize, they figure more or less you are not saved and you are not baptized yet. None of that, brother, none of that, sister. It's the word of God that reach your heart and God pluck you out of the darkness, rescue you out of the jurisdiction of the power, of the clutches of the adversary and translate you into the son of his dear love. That's what God want. Hear me. When God save your brother, Nobody can reverse it. Here goes Peter now. Saying, Thou wentest into men and circumcised, and didst eat with them. Didst eat with them. You can't eat with Gentiles in those days. But now, in this secret administration of the grace of God, all that man is saying, the middle wall of partition has been destroyed and the floodgate of salvation is open wide. Come unto me, all ye that are labor. Jews, they begin to put up distinction and barrier. Uh -huh. They're trying to set back what Christ has torn down, build back. The wall of partition. They want to build back uh -huh, the oracles and the ordinances and things that were bitter and hostile against the nation or the Gentile. They wanted to come into operation. They forgot what the Bible says. But hear what the Bible says in verse 4. Peter. But Peter. Rehearse. The entire matter from the beginning, Peter is telling them what took place and expounded it by harder and to them, saying, Peter now begin to dispense what the Almighty God has done. The Bible said, from the beginning, it gives them what you call word by word, step by step, harder by harder, right through what the Lord God have given him to do. Hear what he says now as he begins to tell the truth and nothing but the truth hear what happened I was in the city of Joppa I was in the city of Joppa praying hallelujah I like you and do Peter I like it and in a trance in other words I wasn't sleeping I saw a vision a certain vessel descended as it has been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners hallelujah and it came even to me east west north south the four corners wherever a man a woman is the good news is going to reach you. The gospel of the consolation, it's coming. I just say it again. It's just a matter of time. It's going to reach you. It will reach you. Run, but you can't hide. The scripture again. Peter quickly related the truth that I was in Joppa. A chance. And the great sheet come down out of heaven. And he fastened his eyes, according to verse 6, upon the 
which when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowl of the heath. Peter make direct reference to his initial revelation and his manifestation that came from heaven. This is from heaven. Verse 7, And I heard a voice saying unto me, a voice, when God speak. He heard a voice, according to Peter here, saying unto me, Arise. Peter, slay, and he kill, and he. Peter instantly in verse 8 says, But I said not so, law. In other words, I cannot do that, law. For nothing common or unclean had, had at any time entered into my mouth. Religion. And Peter is very well correct. He was a bond Jew mingle not with unclean tea taste not unclean tea he says to the Lord not so and I believe Peter in the Bible says and the Bible says verse 9 but the vice answered me again from heaven when God speak the vice from heaven. What Yahweh, what Elohim, what Almighty Jehovah, God, what God had cleansed, ha, that called not thou common. Peter, what I, God, has cleansed. Don't you dare do that. Call it unclean or common. When God speak. Remember I told you more than once. This is about the good news. Nothing about eating. Nothing about drinking. Salvation is not about eating or drinking. Salvation is about the good news of salvation. To rescue mankind from the power of darkness, sin and domain. Deliverance. Salvation is about that. Not salvation for you, but for all mankind. And the scripture says, And this was done three times. And all were drawn up again into heaven. I just got a revelation. All these brethren that received the gospel of salvation when the Holy Spirit fell uh -huh, and them, according to Acts 10, 44, all these brethren, destination is heavenly realms. Just last year. Listen what verse 11, verse 10 says. But the vice, verse 9, the vice answered me again from heaven, what God explains, that call not thou unclean. Verse 10, and this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. I, I, can, I, can I tie it here? Verse 10 with 44, all that the Holy Spirit fell on, all were drawn up. Again into heaven. When God speak from heaven. He let down. And he draw up. He let down. And he draw up. All these. God draw them out. Of all uncleanness. And cleanse them. From every sin. And set them free. Draw them back up. Into heaven now. 
This is a revelation by the Holy Spirit. Gentiles who never have no part to get into the temple, no nowhere near the holies of holies, now that they are drawn into the heavenly realms. Hallelujah. Verse 11, my brothers and sisters, if you're just joining us, we are on the subject when God speak. And behold, and behold, immediately there were three men. Listen, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was sent from Caesarea unto me. <laughs> Three men come unto me. News flash. Now Peter reached the climax of his account. Oh yes, the max. Gentiles came to Peter. Hallelujah. He make reference to the fact that the Holy Spirit fell on them at Caesarea. He wasn't there. But here goes in the same manner as in the beginning. He was on the housetop. But here comes three men. Already come unto the house where I was sent from Caesarea unto me. Number 12 of chapter 11. And the Spirit bid me go with them. The Holy Spirit sent Peter to go with them. When God speaks, there is an assignment is in operation. Hallelujah. That you, sir, you, madam, you must go. Hallelujah. And listen carefully. Nothing doubting more over. These six brethren accompany me. These six brethren. Peter is on trial for what God has done. For the supernatural um, revelation and manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Peter has been on trial and he got to testify the truth and nothing but the truth for shut up some of these Judahites. But I mean, for a truth you could not wrong them because they thought in their mind and their heart that circumcision and salvation is for us and we alone not for you because you are dogs and sorcerers far from the commonwealth of Israel. The scripture says, the scripture says, these six brethren accompany me and we enter into the man's house. We go there because the Holy Spirit look good. And this verse 12, and the Holy Spirit bid me go did you see that in your Bible? It's not Peter went on his own assignment. It's not Peter went on his own mission. The Holy Spirit said, go, bid him to leave now, go. Don't think you're independently, sir. When God sent you out and speak, you got to go. Mm. The scripture is straightforward. Says straightforward. Listen what the first verse says, verse 13. And he showed us how he had seen. This is Cornelius now showing Peter how he has seen an angel in his house. The angel of the Lord get inside your house, Cornelius' house. Which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose name, surname is Peter. Simon Peter. Go call. Send men go call Peter. Because I want. This is, listen, listen. God want 
is salvation this day to reach to the Gentiles. God want his Holy Spirit to manifest upon these, the Gentiles who were cast off. God want his good news to reach to. God want it. And what God speak, that's it. Seal, settled, and signed. That's it. Oh my God. Who shall tell the words whereby upon thou and all thy house shall be saved? Salvation is not in Cornelius' house and all that even working for, 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 for Cornelius at that moment, whoever there. And in other words, all those that were there, God designate that they should be there. He purposed that they should be there. His predestinated will and counsel that they should be there. His decision is that they should be there. This is the power of God. Purpose and plan, will and counsel and his intention. Praise ye the Lord. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, and as I began to speak, Peter, I salute you. Testify the truth, but nothing but the truth. And as I began to speak, it not Peter was speaking, but he was telling them what happened. And they knew that Peter wasn't the vice. God was the vice speaking to Peter. The scripture says, The Holy Spirit fell on them. As on us at the beginning. Yes. What was that could, who can withstand? are withstand God. If the Jews believe and the church at Jerusalem at the upper room, oh yes, sir, mm -hmm. who can stop God, Gentiles? God is absolute and self-existent cause and creator and sustainer of the entire universe. Therefore, God is at asking man no question but to deliver the Gentiles. God is not asking nobody, should I go to Cornelius' house and save him? Or save his household or save his workmen? Then no, sir, no, madam, no. It's God's will and counsel. Uh -huh. And as I begin to speak, as I begin to tell the good news, as I begin to dispense the word of God, the Holy Spirit take over. Exactly what Peter is saying. And, and take over. Take charge. Take everything in control. And rest upon them. Get inside of their heart. Hallelujah. Then remember I the word of the Lord. Listen to it. All that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, God of heaven. Peter now is telling them that I have nothing to do with this, my brother. I have nothing to do with this. This is the truth and nothing but the real truth. This guy could not stop. I'm just a man. And God is no respecter of man, a respecter of person, a respecter of the office. Who am I? Could stop God. That's what Peter is saying to them. I remember what John the Baptist says. John indeed baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit take over flame in tongues and, and begin to manifest. Let me recap on verse 17 where we did read over here. For as much then God has gave them the light gift as he did unto us. 
who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What was I that I could withstand God? Peter is saying, who am I now? To stand in the pathway of God manifestation. Who am I to stop somebody that God is saying, come unto me? Who am I to hinder a man of God? No, sir. I am unable to do that, my brothers. My apostle's friend, I am just a man. I am unable. I believe tears might come in out of Peter's eyes. Because this is what he says. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, he asks the question now. Who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? Pause. What was I? Answer me, you, Mr. Apostles. And brethren, answer me. He says right here. He said it. What was I that I could withstand God? Question sign. The answer is no. Peter, you could not withstood God. Peter verified that God's provision for salvation is amen and amen for the Gentiles. Peter, verifying the signs of God, Holy Spirit is absolute. No one was ready to do that. No one can stop that. When God speak, when God speak, here goes verse 18, as we rest our case there and pick it up at a next time. When they heard these things, they held their peace. They held their ignorance. They held their hunger and bitterness. Because you see, some people bittered when God call you out of darkness, some declare that you're not going to make it. Some declare that you're going to last a three week, three months, three days. They come with all different theory. That's man. Man always have something to say in a God plan. But who are you, man? Who are you? Hear what the Bible says. When they heard these things, when they heard what Peter says, they held their peace. In other words, they were so hungry, they were so bitter, they were so boisterous, they were ready to kill Peter on mm -hmm. the ground that you go eat with sinners, you go into sinners' house, you go mingle with sinners, you go polluted with sinners. Oh, oh, what kind of thing that Peter, they were quarreling. Who are you, man? They were blinded to the apprehension of the truth of the gospel of reconciliation. Their heart is not in tune with truth. Note what happened now. And glorify God, saying, Then, as God also took the Gentile, granted repentance unto life. Can we do a little fine tuning here now? They come to the conclusion. They come to the agreement. None could stop this. It has now become evident that the Jew believe, the Jews believers of Jerusalem and the Gentiles may indeed become one in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the one who died for us on the cross. When he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. It is accomplished. Man redemption has been sealed and paid for. It's nothing about you, brother. Nothing about you, sister. Nothing about me. It's about Christ. When they had, uh -huh, uh -huh, then had God also to be Gentiles, grant repentance, grant a turnaround, grant deliverance, grant breakthrough, grant healing. Oh my God. God has now taken over this part. And listen to this, my friend. It was also within the plan and purpose and will of God that repentance unto life has reached the Gentiles. And the believer now become associated Associated in one faith, one baptism, one God and Father over all and through all and for all. And all will have its cohesion in Christ Jesus. One of these days, universal reconciliation will come into operation.
Who am I that I should hinder and stop the purpose of God? You cannot, madam. You cannot do that, sir. It is well done. No tear. In, in, in the mind of the Jewish Christian, the evangelization of the Gentiles would men of drastic reprisal, drastic reprisal, because some is still boisterous and ignorant of their own position before God. With this initial uh -huh, and repentance into the previous untapped or unstopped of the Gentile territory, the door of salvation has open wide the door has been swung open the barrier has been moved oh the endurance has been stopped oh the floodgate of salvation and activity of the word of god has now been dispensed and it is being cracked oh my god the door which was locked has been cracked open by peter mm -hmm. and paul pick it up from there on, that today I can declare that I was lost in sin, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. Out from the depths of the water lifted me. Then I could say like the sun college, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me the love of god so rich so pure it reaches to the highest to the lowest it is above mankind thoughts mankind reason mankind apprehension mankind initial thoughts it cannot work brother god bless you tonight my brothers and sisters oh thank god for salvation you hear these words tonight and you hear what the scripture says. When God speak. Peter didn't finish speak. I don't finish speak. Because more is in the word of God. More is still in the word. And so if you hear his voice tonight. Turn it over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope that the Holy Spirit wherever you is tonight will reach you and deliver you from the dark domain of sin. When God speak, sin come to stop. Hungry come to a stop. Bitterness come to stop. Angry come to a stop. Last viciousness come to a halt. Pride put under subjection. The Word of God will be your light and a lamp unto your pathway when God speak. God bless you tonight, my brother. As you hear these words, the scripture says, Hard not your heart. Swing your heart door wide open and he will come in. Come in to stay. Come in, I pray. Lord, Hear their cry now. I bless the Lord for you, my brother. Bless the Lord for you, my sister. If you hear this word, you can text 516-204-5216 and says, I heard the word and I believe the word. And the Bible says, If thou confess with thy mouth, believe in thine heart that God has raised up Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. That's the evidence that you believe. The Holy Spirit will give you utterance and boldness day by day. God bless you as we're going to look to the Lord in prayer even now. Blessed God and our Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great creator and sustainer, the one who you have given a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, at the name of Elohim, Yahweh, King of all kings, 
Oh, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall acclaim thee as Lord and Savior. Thank you tonight for your word, God. Your word cannot be hindered. When you speak, God, it go forth with power and bring deliverance to the hearers. Oh, my God, and healing to the sick. Lift yoke, lift burden, set the captive free tonight. Lord, we look to you and we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We worship you for your word tonight. As we shabak you and give you a total praise. In the name of your exalted son, Christ Jesus. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. All those that are hearing this preacher vice, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And if so, desire of your heart. In the context of hearing the word of God. Please be a cheerful giver. Not grudgingly, but willingly. If you so desire from your heart, go and cash up. Go and cash up. Dollar sign. Gospel Way Church. One word. Gospel Way Church. Thank you very much for listening to us. Now may the grace of God and the peace of God and the love of God and the patience of God be with you now and sport forevermore. God bless you. God love you. Stay well. Stay strong. In Jesus' name.